Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Test Automation Engineer Certification. We are in chapter 2 and we are looking at the next topic of this chapter that is 2.3 Design for Testability and Automation. In this topic we are trying to understand how a design for the testability and automation generally happens. Like what are the features, what are the criteria, what are the intermediate integrates uh, interfaces and ingredients which are required to be built and when it is appropriate to be created. Now when you talk about the SUT suitability, the testability, which is very important in terms of understanding that whether it is testable or not, whether the availability of the software interfaces which will support the testing is available or not. Of course at any point of time when you try to test an application of course there are a lot, lot of features and properties which are associated with the functionality or the feature which you see on the application. If those features are unavailable, then of course an automation tool cannot identify the object on the application and execution cannot take place. Now the similar way understanding in terms of that, we are trying to understand more on the design of testability. So generally here the testability consists of several parts where we can classify them into three categories. One is observability, controllability and clear defined architecture. Now when you talk about observability, the SUT needs to provide interface that give insights to the system. That means it's some kind of interface where you can actually understand whether what we wanted to perform is clearly visible on the application or not. And as simple as that to understand whether expected result is equal to actual result is can be mapped if the system supports a clear visible output. Controllability, it generally means that the SUT needs to provide an interface that can be used to perform actions on the SUT. That means the back-end supporting properties. The properties must be unique to clearly identify an object. If they are not clear enough or unique enough, it would be difficult to identify an object and perform the activity. Clearly defined architecture, the third party, a third important part of the design for testability is an architecture which generally gives the control flow or moving from one object to another object if it is not connected well of course there would be a lot of challenges. So of course this entire responsibility will be in code of test automation engineer where it continuously keeps working on the automation design by understanding the architecture of the product and this is implemented in parallel with other implementations which keeps on happening right from the design phase. Further to understand more in detail about the same, uh, we do have some examples for software interfaces that support testing. Now these interfaces are further in detail provided to you here. Uh, we need to understand here the scripting capabilities of modern spreadsheets. Now when you talk about spreadsheet, we are talking about MS Excel. The Excel generally comes with an inbuilt feature of VBA, that is Visual Basic for application. and these. Uh, spreadsheets can be further internally programmed to check if the data or information collected within Excel or prepared within Excel is valid or not. So you can have your validation rules, for formatting rules, filter criteria, anything can be internally designed. So before moving to automation scripts, the data can be validated well within. And that's where we're talking about the software interfaces. At the same point, even we are talking about the stubs and mocks. Generally, when you talk about stubs and drivers, which are replacement for the original module or the real module which comes in between a control flow. So probably the module could be expensive or it could be a third party payment gateway which might not be available right now or it is still under development. Then we must have certain mechanism in between which would help you to uh, overcome the barrier and at least continue your testing. But the stub and mock what you're using should be equally strong enough based on the feature which will help you to uh, make sure the functionality is working fine. Software interfaces can be used to test error conditions as well. That means we can define, uh, you know, predefined conditions to check for any kind of error which is related to either system or the control flow. State transition testing can be obviously applied here in terms of identifying the behavior of SUT, which is to check if the right state is achieved or whether this is enabled or not, whether this particular action has been performed and the final state is where you want it to reach and those kind of prerequisites can be defined as a part of SUT as well. That means some kind of intimation which allows you to identify the state has changed. Further, design for automation should consider some of the factors which will be in terms of uh, 
first one is testability of course this is in terms of automation where you talk about the automation test scripts compatibility with existing test tools there won't be possibility that you're talking about integration integrating a test management tool with an automation testing tool then of course they must have some kind of interfaces built in between where if i run a test in automation testing tool the test management tool may be capable of capturing the information right from the automation tool itself the issues of the test tool compatibility is critical in that it may impact the ability to auto automate test of important functionality so incompatibility in terms of within for example if the particular programming platform is not supported by the automation testing tool then there's no point creating the script at all in that or maybe you need some additional add-ins to be installed to enable such features within an automation testing tool solutions may require development of the program code and calls to apis that means some additional generic functions would be required to be created as a library function which can be used to pre-call the additional information which is required to run a test on the sut so additional information can be further gathered from the experience when you start working with the application and that would add more of the information to make it efficient as well as more effective while working in the automation so that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have any query, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you at any point of time. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the topic. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.